welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm doing a, a Daisy Ridley inspired look. I feel like I haven't done one in a very long time, plus it was also requested for me to do one. Uh, I tried to find one that was different from the ones I've done before, so I've done three looks I think before now. I know it's like a green smoky eye, a red or pink lip and then a glittery eye and pink lip I think. So the one I've gone for is actually quite fitting for this season we're about to go into. I know kind of September tends to actually still be quite sunny and warm, but we are kind of we are heading into the fall season now, autumn, which I love. Um, so the look I'm going for is this one here of Daisy Ridley. So a matte brown eye, a brown lip, very autumnal. This and I thought actually I really like that look. So that's the look I'm going to do. I think she has got faux freckles put on, so I might not do that part, um, or I might just emphasise some of mine that are across my nose. To match but if you're interested in this look then please keep on watching so i'm gonna start with base first so actually i've got the hint beauty concealer in light here i did pick up a new one and um, i still do have the fair one but i use it as a concealer under the eyes to give a little brightening effect but light is my favorite it's kind of my shade that i prefer in this so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply this yeah and even her skin is quite matte in it as well and it doesn't look like she's got blusher on it doesn't look like she's got highlighter on it's kind of mainly bronzer contour um, so that's what I'm going to do for today's look. So this is kind of my first, I guess, autumnal look as well of, this, of the year. Okay, I'm going to switch to the Hint Beauty Concealer and Light now. So I'm, uh, fair, sorry. So I am kind of hit bottom, but I just thought actually, whilst the f light was in stock, because sometimes that can be out of stock quite quickly, I'd pick it up and actually I'd just use this one for more, a little bit of brightening under the eyes instead. So I'm going to take it on my Real Techniques brush and just pop a little bit under the eyes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set the skin. So I'm taking my Hunsent Pure Bamboo Powder for this. I'm going to take my setting brush for under the eyes, my T-zone, and then I will just use a fluffy brush for the rest of my skin because, like I said, her skin looks quite matte in the photo. So I'm just going to make sure everything is set. Yeah, so taking a nice big fluffy brush and just going ahead and setting the rest of the skin. And then I guess the final face step I'm going to do, because like I said, there's no blusher, no highlighter, is going to take my Lily Lolo Sculpt and Glow Contour Kit. I do have a new one ready to go because this is pretty much on its way out. So I'm going to take this on the Real Techniques Duo Fibre Face Brush and go ahead and see what I can get out of it. use that now it's more focused right towards the back nothing is really on the kind of front cheeks <laughs> it's all focused right near the edges and then like I said she does have some faux freckles across the nose like I said it might emphasize some of mine so they stand out a bit more on the center bit So I'm just going to take the Lily Lolo Eyebrow Pencil in brown, or sorry, medium. I'm literally just going to go over top of ones I already have, because my face... Because to be fair, I do have a fair few freckles. But obviously with the... Although they still show through with the concealer, they do get minimised slightly in terms of intensity because of that. I'm going to leave it like that. I know hers are more intense, but I think too much and it can you can really tell it's fake. And plus, like I said, I do have lots of freckles anyway. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to quickly just fill in my brows how I would do. I'm actually have fairly similar kind of eyebrow shapes anyway with a straight bit here and then it does curve down. So actually ours aren't too dissimilar. Okay, so moving on to eyes. I'm just going to quickly prep and prime my eyes with my Lily Lolo Eye Primer. And I've got a mix of palettes I'm going to use because I was going to use my Solstice palette by Ether Beauty, but it's actually, the browns are too warm toned in there. 
and then the other palettes didn't have quite the right browns. I have a few palettes that did have shades I want but not all the shades so I will be dipping back and forth between some palettes. The palette I wish I still had actually is the um, oh, Nip and Fab palette, the sculpting eyeshadow palette because that had a real range of neutrals. Um, but I'm going to into the Urban Bible to begin with and I'm going to start off with the shade Saviour or Sabia, sorry. I'm just going to take this on a fluffy brush to begin with, so my 100 Pure brush. And I'm going to pop this all over the lid and through the crease. This is going to be actually my base colour for this look. I know this isn't brought too high up on the eyes either, so I'm going to make sure I don't try and bring mine too high up the shadow eye. And also hers isn't winged out or anything like that, it's very much focused around the eyes, so also I'm going to replicate that. That same colour, and hers is actually quite blown out on the lower lash line, so I'm going to do the same. Okay, so now I want to move on to a slightly deeper shade. I think I'm going to stick the same brush at the moment because um, I don't want it to be really intense or I want kind of like a wash. So I'm moving on to Prophecy. But only a little bit because I feel this is quite a warmish brown and like I said, it's meant to be a relatively cool toned look. So really focusing this shade on the lid, this brush, and try not to bring it too high up again. bit just on the outer portion of the lash line. I'm just taking a clean fluffy brush quickly and just making sure everything is soft around the edges. Okay I'm going to start adding some dark brown and I need to make sure this is a cool tone because I'm worried this is going to get too warm if I'm not careful. Um, I feel like you're quite a good. So I'm actually going to dip into the Dose of Colours palette now. Oh, does that look quite warm on camera? What does oath look like? Does that see that's that's just a bit too dark for what I want. So I'm just going to try this shade here, which is Cheens, I believe. Yeah, and just see if I can just add a little bit just to deepen it ever so. Slightly. I'm just going to take a slightly denser brush. Just kind of get off any product that I don't want on here. Okay, that'll do. Picking up some of that shade, just tapping in slightly. And just building up on the lid again. Now she hasn't got incredibly dark brown eye, smoky eye, but it is just that kind of slight deepness there. I guess it does have that kind of grungy feel where it's not like perf perfected or kind of really perfectly blended. And one last time I'm just going to take that, oh where's that gone, that clean fluffy brush. There it is. Just one last time go over. Okay, I'm actually going to take a brown eyeliner now. So this is the Lily Lolo Eyeliner in Brown. Just for the lower lash line. Now, I don't think she has it in her waterline, but there's definitely something along the lower lash line. Oh, maybe she does have it in her waterline. Okay. So I'm going to pop this into the waterline then. But she also has it that like, dragged just below as well to really deepen up that lash line. Get a pencil brush and just go over the eyeliner. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and shove some mascara on now and load up my lashes. And then I can move on to lips. So I've actually got my new Lily Leo Big Lash here because obviously I chucked my other one away. Because I don't want to continue to infect my eyes okay now I've actually done my eyes I want to go in a bit more with my Lily Low Scots and Glow kit because actually I feel like it can be intensified a bit more now now I've got the eyes quite not deep but they're slightly smoky and grungy 
it kind of looks like it kind of diminishes what's on my f face in terms Okay, so on to lips. I'm first of all going to take a, a nude lip liner. Where have I put mine? So I'm going to go in with the Soft Nude from Lily Lolo. Okay, then I'm going to go with Stripped on top from Lily Lolo. Now this does have a bit of a shine to it, and hers is matte, so I'm going to go in with a little bit of powder just to matte it down. Okay, and I'm just taking a little bit of my Hansen Pure Powder. Okay, and that is this Daisy Ridley inspired look done. Now, I do think the eyes could be in a slightly cooler tone than they are, but I don't really have for some reason many cool tone browns but I really love this look like I said I was trying to go for a different look of hers that I haven't really done before and also with it almost coming to autumn I thought it was just perfect like my first autumnal look it's got slight grunginess with it for under the eyes um, and I love this lip colour I haven't done like a lip colour like this for a while like a nice brownie with a slight red tone um, I think hers is slightly lighter than this but I didn't really have anything else that similar this was the closest I had but um, I had a lot of fun recreating it. I love this look and I know so many people wanted to see another Daisy Ridley look anyway. Um, and if you ever want me to do more, do let me know and let me know which kind of look you want me to do. Um, yeah, I was just trying to pick one that was different to ones I've already done of hers. But yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.